Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. Sounds good. And we get. And for a game about playing as a cat, the lore is pretty deep. That's true. The lore is pretty good. It's pretty interesting. Nope, nope, nope. That's a whole bunch of nope. And these look like dangerous laser beams. Yep. Don't touch those. Alrighty, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. This is Nerdedness. I'm Shade. How are we doing? Few people on already. Very exciting. We are going to hit the finale of Stray tonight. Also, before we get too far in, big shout out and thank you to our Patreon sponsors. I finally got it displayed on the screen next to us, ready to go. <clears throat> Um, so last night we got a fair way through, um, but because we've been doing a lot of exploration and lore discussions and explorations, we still haven't finished the game. So I think we've got somewhere between 40 and 60 minutes left, approximately, um, depending on how much we talk and faff about. Um, so we will finish Stray, we'll experience the conclusion I'm hoping it's a happy ending. Um, and then after that, we're going to kick on into a second stream that was requested, which is to play some Power Wash Simulator, have some uh, beverages, and have some Discord chat. Um, before we talk too much longer, let's just get started, shall we? All right. All right, that's right. We found Clementine, right? So last session, we climbed up from, you know... This other random village we've hit in Midtown. Clementine is in here. Clementine is a bit of an outlaw because Clementine wants to see the outside or get to the outside like we do. Um, so the oppressive forces are looking for them. Not sure if it's a he or a she, so let's just go with them. Um, I don't remember what our, <laughs> what our objective is. And we don't have a quest log. This could be a challenge. What's in our inventory? Yes. Uh, Sparkle Source. She's a C. She previously mentioned with um, pronouns. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Very good. That's the wrong button. Um, tab. That's the button. Oh, we got a vest. That's right. We stole a vest. What the hell was this? So this guy wants to help Clementine. Let's find him. He's our own. That's right. We had to go to. Aha. So. Is the robot wearing a bomber jacket and a gold chain? There we go. We've got enough clues to get us started. <clears throat> so Clementine has a contact in the Nito Corporation. We need to get an atomic battery so that she can. Our maybe opening the roof or something? I can't remember. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Whoa, it's very bright out here. Back to the apartment complex. We need to get back down to street level. No one wants to pay attention. All right. Uh, Sparkle Source, yes, we are stealing a battery. With all of your f failed typos, don't worry. We got the message. Um, I thought there might have been stairs on this side. I don't know why I thought that. Where are the steps down? Can we just jump then if we can't? That'll do. We took out the cameras in this area so that these guys could be free to break dance, I guess, because maybe dancing wasn't allowed because the cameras was on. I don't know. I don't know. Let's carry forward. All right, so the Nito Corporation bomber jacket and gold chain is who we're looking for. Not you. Not you. Uh, not you, I don't think. 
Wasn't it this way somewhere for the Nito Corporation? No. All right. <laughs> and Lino, welcome back. Thanks for coming along. Your insight last night was very helpful. And right now we're just a lost kitty. This guy... What's a bomber jacket even? And it's different... We might have a different interpretation of what that is. Where's the signpost? Hmm. He's in an alley. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Nobody. That is a clue we needed. Oh, here's a signpost too. Because, yeah, Nito Corporation left. Something about that, right? Something about Nito. Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. The Nico Corp factory is no place for a little puzzle like you. It's like a puffy jacket, you reckon? Yeah, cool. That's what I was thinking. So let's check some alleyways till we can find someone. A leather jacket, says Vito. Alrighty. Oh. Does this guy? Here we go. Aha, found him. He's got a gold chain, which is the main bit we needed. And it appears to be a vest that is like got a, a, a woolly fleecy inlay. So there you go. Different to what all we expected. I'm busy. What do you want? I want to show you this message. <coughs> Where did you get that? Oh, you're an outside my contact. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. Please do, sir. That battery is powering the Nico Corp factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Well, we did steal a worker jacket last night. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I go... Uh, while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Okay, well, we've got the jacket. Where are we going to get the helmet? Dude. Give me a worker jacket and a helmet. Well, here's a jacket. Perfect. That jacket is exactly what we need. I still need a worker helmet, though. Did you find one of those, too? We did not. All right. Time to go for a wander and see what shop. Vito, you reckon the bar? Excellent. There's this bar. Is it a bar or a nightclub? We haven't been able to get in here. Can we climb in there? I haven't even tried that yet. Was there another bar? I think there was as well, right? All right, that's the sleepy... Sleepy attendant. There's nothing in here. We've cleared this out. A hat store. Was there a hat store? The hat is in the window, says Lina. Okay. But we got the jacket from this store. We stole it off that mannequin. Must be a different store then. <laughs> Sparkle Sauce to summarize it. It's either a hat store or a window or a club or a bar. <laughs> All of the things. But Lina, you reckon it's in a window? A window of any particular place? Because only the place back there had a proper shop window. Oh, have we busted in here? Oh, yes, this is the barber. Where he, like, does mechanical haircuts. It's the millionaire with the rope in the bar. The window of a store. Hey, there it is, right there. This store. This store we haven't even been in yet. Talk with Hattor. Maybe we have been here. Nobody can enter the shop while it's being restocked. And seeing how incompetent those two are, it might be a while. All right. Um, oh, we're not allowed. <laughs> oh, we get shooed. Okay. What can we do here then? <clears throat> been waiting for ages for Stupalachi to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. If that guy is slacking off at the bar again. He's got another thing coming. Open the box for a second. Because, you know, we got to. All right. 
<laughs> Everyone says jump in the box. Already done. <laughs> All right, so we got to go to the bar to find his friend, his co-worker. Where the hell was the bar? This was in. Here. This is the bar, right? Club's closed. Get lost. We can't show him anything. Get in the box and stay there. <laughs> Can we find another way into the bar? <clears throat> Pit. <laughs> Vito says, no, that's the club. Um, <clears throat> if we stay in there, we'll be carried. Ooh, I reckon we might, but we are, I reckon we've still got to get the other dude, though. All right, we've got to hide in here. Yeah, so nothing's going to happen until we get his helper. So where's the bar? Not the club. I'm s I've forgotten where everything is. Oh, there's another dude here we haven't met yet. Peacemaker! The person arrested was not Clementine. Continue the search. Oh. These are the... What about you on the inside? Understood. They're part of the... Oppressors. Okay, first to the bar that is not the closed club. That is an accurate summary. If only I could get my shit together. Okay, that's a store. What the hell was the bar? Residency, Shop Street, and Nico Core. Has to be a red sign near the closed shop. But this isn't it either. I don't even know what this is, but this is not a bar. <clears throat> Here's the clothes shop. That's the club. Red sign near the clothes shop. Am I like super dumb right now? Oh, there. This one. Aha. Now we're in business. This bar, yes, I remember this bar. Oh my god, thank you. I was so dumb, I forgot about this. We need to obviously mess up the balls again. Is that for reset? Right. Mimoth, that was the guy, right? Drink responsibly, little one. Not like this guy in the back room, what a pity. Wasn't that guy? What was that guy? The guy in the back is absolutely well lubed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only a big crash on the head could wake him up. Let's find the guy who's passed out in the back room and knock something. All right, this must be the guy we need. Let's climb up and knock that box of shit on his head. Too much of a city. Yeah, I know there's so many things to look at here. It's all right, we got it. We got it. Knock it down. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. Ah. Success. Realized. Not that. And he's wandered off. All right, catch up. Oh, he's just going to wander back to work. We don't even have to tell him. He's just going to do it. All right, well, you do it. We'll knock some more balls around the pool table. Better if we could actually slap these balls as well rather than just walk into them. Anyway, done. We win. Now get in the box. Ah, yes. Get in the box. The box awaits. Come on, drunky man. Drunky bot. You are late. We need to do things. Look at my grumpy face. Yes, I'm sorry. Ah, loser. <laughs> We're in the box. That's it. I'm guessing they'll keep putting boxes down we can jump into anyway. But we are in business. Done. You are all on the money. You knew it was going to happen. And out we get. 
And how do we steal the hat? Steal that one, please. Yoink. And we knock this down to... Yes, to get back out. We can. Is there anything else in here to look at? No. Well, there's a floor we could scratch. Scratch it up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's a good scratchy mat. Okay. All right, no other cool hats in here. Let's go. Oh, 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 secret. No, no secret. Oh, he tried to, he tried to shoo us because we ran out the front door instead of the side door. But we can go back in through the side door now too. Um, okay, back to the alley. Break into Nitocore. All right, Blazer. Find a worker helmet now. Security is no joke. Well, how about this one? Excellent. This helmet will do the trick. I'll get dressed now. Mind turning around? <laughs> they wear a cat. It's fine. And he's still got his gold chains on, so that's good. These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Okay, hop in this box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. Sounds good. And we get... Go for a ride in the box. Like Maru loves a box. Oh, yes. I need to take this box in, please. What is it? It's a box. In we go. Good enough, eh? Hey? Lyrium asks, has the game answered why the robots wear clothes? Not directly, but what we are suspecting is that the robots are in fact humans uploaded into robotic bodies and consciousness. So they tend to eat, drink, sleep and wear clothes like they used to. That's what we're kind of leaning towards. Meanwhile, they're going to keep talking. That's fine. Let's just jump out whilst he's distracted. Under there. Oh, okay. Now we've got to deal with security. we got to hide from these droney things. All right. We've got to find, whoop, find an atomic battery somewhere. We don't really know what that means, but there's lots of boxes to jump into and hide if we need. Like so. Okay. <laughs> Chris, we don't want to see robot doodles. Or maybe we do. Maybe we do. I'm sure someone does. Also, explain the eyeballs. Um, Yeah, we didn't get an explanation from that. It's just trying to amp up the creep factor around the Zerg sort of... The, the Zerks and they're growing into gross things. <laughs> Hide in a box. And Anastasia, I haven't seen any used Stasis capsules except for the one... But, well, we saw a couple actually because I was actually doing some video editing of our first episode today and the room where we pick up B12 from, there is a robot next to one of those capsules. Um... So I reckon, I think we've seen a few more capsules around, not really realizing it. So I suspect that most robots, not all of them, are in fact uh, humans that have uh, uploaded themselves. Or been uploaded. Yes, and Canon said B12 was a human. We learned that last night. That's true. And then he was all like upset because he'd forgotten stuff. He's like, what else have I forgotten? Why isn't that one up the back looking away? Go away. I want to sneak in there. Am I supposed to sneak? I guess maybe... Can we... No, we can't go over there. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, shoot little ball bearings in me, little fucker. 
And maybe he tried to upload himself into the robot, but couldn't finish and ended up in the network. Ooh, yeah. Far side down the water. Oh, down here, itchy knees, you reckon? Oh. Around that side, yes. There we go, around here. That's where we're going. There's another way around this pipey posty thing. Oh, shit. That didn't work. Jump down, you silly cat. Get in the cat. Oh, wow. That didn't work. <laughs> oh, rude. Hide more, get seen less. Follow, follow Grizz for more stealth tips. We got like Insta shot. <laughs> All right. Let's just sort this shit out. Alright, we're in the stealth section. Oh boy, in the box! There we go. The thing that makes it a bit harder is there's like a delay when I say jump in the box. You can also run, yes, duly noted. Alright, that's got us through here. Alright. Morse. Whoa, hello. Who are you? Can we talk? Hey, good thing you're here. You can help me. I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. The Sentinels refused to help me. They told me, if no place to go, more work here. If by chance you could help me find them, I'd be eternally grateful. Alright, so if we find some keys, we'll give them to this guy. Sentinels, that's the word I couldn't think of. The uh, pressers are the Sentinels. Uh, Elvin, extra stream, you take it straight was a high popularity? Yes, you're correct. And Dalen is also correct in that I was slow and I did not manage to finish it last night. Too much exploring and faffing around. <laughs> but down there, we're going to try and get down there for the keys? Or are we going to find them elsewhere, I wonder? No. There's a lever up there. How might we gain access up there on the other side? We're going 100%. Not, well, not quite 100% because we've already missed a couple of memories, I think. Ah, we need to jump here and swing the beam. Let's open the side door over there. Where's our beam gone? Go back around. That's fine. We can go around. <coughs> Dell, they're not complaining. Fun to hang out. Hell's yes. And for a game about playing as a cat, the lore is pretty deep. That's true. The lore is pretty good. It's pretty interesting. Nope, nope, nope. That's a whole bunch of nope. Oh, motherfucker's gonna follow us. All right, we've just, we've uh, messed the stealth of that little bit, but anyway, we just keep running through here. Okay, next section. How's this gonna work? We're going to. Follow, no, 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 follow in the shadow of this thing, yep. Cool, what could go wrong? Better on this side now, yep. Try not to pay, try not to upset Grizz with my bad stealthing too much. <laughs> and Grunt's called a dad joke from the chat bot. Put the cat out, I didn't realize it was on fire. <laughs> Well, it was earlier. It was on. It was on lightning fire when we got shot at by these sentinels. Okay, so you want to nickname him Wally? Gingy Boy was the um, voted name in the first episode. Wally's also a good name. There is a lot of trash flowing through here. 
And these look like dangerous laser beams. Yep. Don't touch those. Get in the barrel. In the barrel, you silly bastard. There we go. Nothing to see here. Just a... Just a barrel that just happens to be moving. There we go. Now we're in. Okay. Walking a barrel, we sure did. Oh, okay. Now, what are we going to do? We need to... Oh, is that the atomic battery we need to get? Might be. Need to push more panels. Hey, little follow droid. Or do we need to pull you to another one? Hmm. We jump. Turn him on. Over here. Stop. Stop. Is it going to come down or is it... Now what happens when we stand on... Hmm. Alright, next puzzle. Yeah, I know we need to put things on squares, but we don't have enough things to put on squares. Alright, so this square first, apparently. What about... Th what does this square do? Alright, how about you follow us onto this one? If it changes something. Maybe we only need to light up two squares. Now I could roll that barrel through, right? B12, hold this button down. Better get on the other side of that fence. Yep. Alright, so what if I put this thing here? Back over here, can I roll the barrel through? That may be what we need to do. The second... Oh, over here. Ah, there's a second robot. Thank you. I get what both Vito and Lina were trying to say now. Um, I'm not sure how we get in there. That's the next question. There's a switch there. Can we climb up here? Hmm. Can we pull the bot over to use it as a jumping platform? Oh, Lyrium's just had the same idea. Yep, we're all on the same page. We got it. <laughs> Spam chat comments. Excellent. We're all on the same page. That's how we do it. Good job, team. Right. You, follow me. On to this one. Good board robot. Now, which one of, well, I guess, now you will go on this one. Whoops, and we spazzed out the camera, but that's okay. And let's walk this bad boy onto the other one. It moves like a Dalek. Can't do stairs! Your ultimate weakness. Oh, that was a weird thing. Anyway, take the battery. Atomic battery done. Oh, warning, alert. Everyone is going to try and kill us now. We got it. 
quick, let's get out of here before the Sentinels show up. We've got to get this battery back to Clementine. Well, at least this laser beam's open. Oh, there's a bucket lift. Yep, I'm guessing we just jump in the old bucket. Very conveniently located for us. To run. Oh, we're going to have some uh, running to do. Some escapage upon us. Oh, yeah, we didn't find any keys, did we? Sorry, sorry, uh, dude who's lost his keys. We, uh, we didn't achieve that one. All right, well, I think we just have to move on. Because I can't easily load back in there. Dalek could fly in later seasons, really? I did not know that. That's terrifying. Flying weird tanks. I just want to exterminate. Was this closed off before? There's the bar. We didn't pay attention to this bit before. Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? No idea, sir. Hey, think you can stop us from hanging our digs? Hanging in our digs. They were just arguing with the police. All right. <clears throat> no treats. We never seem to get treats. You must be hungry by now. At least we can get little snoozers. Um, but we need to head to the apartment building again, which is up this end, right? Hang on. No, that doesn't look right. residential building this way no the residential building was down this way ah that's what's changed that's what threw me off that's where we have to go but it's blocked off right now i've caught up what do you say you can steal our spot but you can't steal our moves the last person Lynn all this work for nothing okay yeah they've like oh I can just oh all right <laughs> apparently we can just walk past like a fucking idiot it doesn't even matter all right so they're trying to get Clementine as Sparkosaur says <laughs> if he, yeah we can go through but be careful all right Julie noted I will try and stop doing the dumb. No promises. Um, Alright, so we go through here. Right, up the stairs we go. Whoa! <laughs> Careful! Where was the next uh, stairs up? In that back corner? Yes. There we go. Sneaky, sneaky, putty tat. There we go. Nope, no, no shoots to putty tat. I need to get back up there. Hide in the box. Nothing to see here. Move along, you dodgy drones. All right. Try that again. Little yellow dude upset. He's going to hover there. Fine. We shall... Oh, no. We're not going to sweep through there. Yes, we are. Pretty blind security bots, but that's okay. We're not complaining. Oh, and if you meow, you can draw them to. Oh, that might be interesting to utilize. 
We want to go out there. It does twitch to the right a little bit. And there's one in the distance there too. There's an extension cable. No, that's a hose, is it? We interact with said hose. We cannot. Okay. Oh, that does get their attention. Oh, oh, he saw us though. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. Jump inside. <laughs> Follow the hose. Um, I didn't do that, uh, Grunt. But I'm sure you say that to all the ladies. <laughs> Alright, this is Clementine's apartment. Is Clementine still in here? No. Now what? Look at clue board. All right. Wham. Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look, for B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. Okay, so one is like a cone. Well, on the right, we've got like a lava lamp thing, a cone thing with legs, a crystal, and a plant. A Bulbasaur looking plant. Well, one of them's going to be this thing, right? How do we inspect? You found something? I don't know, have we? Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? Glasgow hat, lava lamp, yes. Crystal and plants. Okay, apparently not that lava lamp. Maybe this lava lamp. Nope, not that lava lamp. What about this plant? Crystal? No, yes. My sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with blank, blankety blank. Okay, what about this plant? Is there something here? Interact with? Put our flashlight on. Nope, that flashlight's way too bright. What if we climb... How did we climb up last time? With this drawer here. There's the sleepy cushion. Here is a crystal. This gem of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo! The message, it says, blazer. Okay, so let's get some more pieces. And Theo, the robot can remember being calm? Yes, so the robot was once a human. Or B12 was once a human. Somehow got stuck uploading themselves into the network. And then we helped finish the job, enabling it to upload itself into this little thing that we have now. Okay, there's nothing in there. Bunch of plants in here. There's the cone. Ah, I f what an odd thing to have in an apartment. Is this the way companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says, blank, blank, come to blank. All right, we just need to get one more piece then. She's staying with somewhere. She's staying with Blazer, come to blank. No, that's not going to be it. Ants somewhere, right? That's what we were looking for. Watering cans here with plants? No, okay. Let's figure out. It was a toilet? It was a toilet. Up 
in the kitchen. Okay. The lamp. Oh, is that the one we're still missing? Is the lamp? Aha! I see what you're saying, Sparkle Sauce. I see what you're saying. Nailed it! What a legend! Sparkle Sauce saves the day this time. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice the message here. It reads, Nightclub. With Blazer, come to the nightclub. That's it. We've done it, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find here. We don't go find her. We don't have much time. All right. Thank you, audience members. Once again, would have failed to try and do this on my own. <laughs> All right, Cat. Let's see if we can... Can we jump down onto that? Oh, we can't jump down onto that. Does this thing not scan the rail? It doesn't scan the rail. Excellent. Go down. Jump up on this ledge. Take our favourite route out of here. We need to go back out there. Alright, so they're on to Clementine, but we are out of here. And they have not found Clementine. There's a delay between the typing and the seeing. Yes, yeah, sometimes chat has a delay. There's also a little bit of a delay due to the multi-streaming too. Apologies. Alright, so now the club looks like it's open. Excuse me, bouncer man. It's not for you. Go away. I'm gonna show him the battery. A bribe? I don't take bribes. I value my work. What is that anyway? Never mind. How about Simon? I don't think the bouncer is going to let us in. Hey guys, I think we're going to have to climb at the back again. Sounds like a good nifty clue. Let's climb through the back, shall we? What can we see for a back entrance? There, where that guy is. How do we get up there? That's the question. Worry about Albert there. Oh, there's a dude up on the ledge there too. All right, so I'm guessing we're going to climb up and go around that edge. Sounds legit. Uh, and Grizz, you're you're using your phone to Chromecast to further ads, you reckon? Yes, Albert has a Glasgow hat. Very much. I've learned something new playing this game and talking to all of you guys. Meat. That is a snazzy outfit. Latakila. Howdy. How are you doing today? Okay, we can't talk about anything else. That's fine. Who's this guy? Hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and get a drink. Yep, that's a wise thing to say to a cat, but we're going to do it. Okay, we're in the nightclub. Grizz loves the back entrance. <laughs> yeah, you do. Crazy. Let's meet this person. <laughs> This club sucks. Why are you standing there holding a broken lever? That's weird. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me! Can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. Ah, okay. You get me a drink? I'll leave you this silly lever. I don't need it, and I don't want to be caught with it. All right, let's get this guy a drink then, shall we? And trade him for this silly lever. That is some holographic... Clothing. You like my mask? I made it myself. It jams the Sentinel's scans and it looks cool. Well, how do I get that? I'm gonna jam their scans. Talk to the bartender. Hey, customer, to access the VIP balcony is closed. Some private beers is going up in there. It has been reserved by some blazer guy. Yes, that's the guy we need to get to. Gold chains over there and a fancy hat. All right, we'll steal this strange drink. Oh, all right, 
we've got like a dumb waiter entrance. Ooh. Wanna get that lever first. Oh, there's a memory here, so why don't we collect that? What do you reckon? When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Nico Corp. And the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Ooh, that's a pretty dire situation you're describing there, B12. Is there anything else in here? There is not. Just the memory. Alright, cool. Get back up to the party then. Infinity and beyond! Okay, so... Where is Leverboy? Rip. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, I've got a drink for you. Have this. Oh, thanks, my friend. Here you go, as promised. Lever handle. Ta-da! Hey, I'll trade you a lever handle for your awesome headgear. It looks very cool. Nope, he doesn't want to talk any further than that. Who are you? I paid extra to get in tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Okay, so the bouncer... What about this big glumph? Wash is his name. And who are you? Pull up. Give it to the left. Give it to the right. Beep up. Sweep swoop. It's called the Zeg Zegema Dance. Yep. That's not awkward at all. Can we dick around with something in the DJ booth? Can we knock these glasses down? Yes, we can. Can we, uh, can we meet Daft Punk over here? Hey everybody, DJ Matsy here. Let's get the party started. This first song has been requested by our very questionable friend, Rohiza. Cool. Oh, get on the turntables. Let me let me mess around with it. Oh, it's grayed out. Why is the option grayed out? Hey everybody, put your hands up. I can't hit the button. I can't interact. Knock more shit off the table though. Hmm, maybe we just can't do it yet. Oh, use lever base. Yes, put the lever in. Oh, yeah, that's distracted him. Now, can we sit on the thing? No. Oh, there's one over here. Shut them both down now. Doesn't seem to uh, um, achieve anything. I still can't interact with this. Hmm. Right, well, we still need to find. I don't even know where the VIP area is. For our friend Blazer. Might be for later, that's what I'm thinking, but Lina says to get on top of it. Trying to. If we hit these levers again. It distracts one DJ, but not the other one. He is no prompty thing to interact with either. Must be for later. Maybe it's for creating a distraction for escaping. Sure. Where is the VIP area? We don't even know. Get on that thing that comes down. Oh, that's probably a smart idea. Can't believe I didn't think of that. Alright, so that one comes down. Oh, 
boost us up thank you dj dude i am not not winning on my own tonight at all i would be absolutely lost without you <laughs> i can't believe how dumb all right what have we got we've got some buttons three buttons and some shit to knock down what does the left one do know what that did oh it's changing the configuration of the roof jumpy platforms for us okay we're gonna use this to get across the room all right next puzzle Read the chat, please. I know. Sorry, Grizz. I'm bad at, at chat tonight. <laughs> we got it. And now we're going to get the right combination here. This is definitely not the right combination. So... There's these... To get them all down at the same time. Oh, that might work. Yes, that might work. Here we go. Cutscene. Okay, we're making progress. This music is questionable. Oh, we can't get all the way. Damn it. Come on, we can make that jump. Okay, well, which... I'm gonna raise those ones. Okay, we want them back down. We want that one down, but we want the other one back. No, that is not what we want to do there. Gotta identify. Oh, these ones are useless. That's looking better. Let's try it. Yes. 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 All right. We made it. Thank you, Vito, for the tips as well. Knock some more shit down. You love the pour on the button? <laughs> I was just looking at the uh, objects. All right, fancy hat man. Raf, I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Because they're being dicks, that's why. Um, let's jump down. We don't know what you're for. Oh, is Clementine... Clementine's tied up. 